All right, today I'm going to show you guys how to do a multi-view drawing of your container home, your learning pod. So to start off with, I would just come up about an inch by an inch and put a mark on your paper. Okay, this will give you guys some space to start so you're not going off the edge of the paper. All right, so one by one. By one. All right, so... I also forgot to mention on the lower right hand corner, I would start by writing your name. And then um, the scale. The scale for this particular drawing is going to be one quarter inch or one fourth inch, is going to be equal to a foot. I would also just add the date somewhere on the uh, sketch as well. So today I'm doing this on 10 7. So you guys are just going to write down today's date. All right, so to start off with again, like I said, start off by coming over on the left side of the paper and come over one inch by one inch. All right, so now I'm going to draw the container home. The container is 20 by 20 feet by eight by eight and a half tall. So 20 feet long. So 20 feet. To be able to find the scale, 20 feet, you'd multiply it by 0.25. That's a quarter of an inch. And that will give you how many inches that you will um, draw your line over. So for this one, it would be 5 inches. If you don't have graph paper, just so you know, I want you to come up an inch on the other side just so you can draw a straight line. So again, now that you have those two dots, or if again, if you're using graph paper, you should be okay to draw a perfectly straight line. And you're gonna come over five inches. Okay, so the height is eight and a half. So right now we got the length, now we're gonna draw the height. So the height is eight and a half. We multiply this by 0.25. And this is actually two and an eighth, okay, one eighth is 0.125, so two and an eighth inch high. All right, so here's your two inch mark. Okay, the eighth is two little lines over. So the first line is a 16th, the next line is an eighth. I know it's very hard to see, but do the best you can. If you're using like graph paper like me, you're almost splitting this right in half, this graph line in half. It will not be on a blue line for this particular for this particular assignment. Oh man, kind of messed that up. All right, so it's about halfway up that blue line. Hold the ruler nice and straight. Go all the way down. All right, so now I'm gonna do the same thing over here, two and an eighth. Okay, and then I'm gonna complete the rectangle. This would be the front view. So right beneath this, I'm just going to write down the front. Okay, that's a front view of the rec, uh, container home. The next I'm going to do is a top view. So the top view is going to be right above it. So we don't have to remeasure the height. What we will do is just come up and draw super light lines to represent the overall height. Or excuse me, the overall length. Right, once we have these super light lines, and I, I know I kind of drew them dark, you're going to come up a little bit. Again, if you're using like line paper, I would just come up like a half an inch. Uh, I'll just go an inch. Okay, on either side. And then draw your line. If you drew through these lines super dark, just erase those lines. Those are called construction lines, and those are just there to help you construct the drawing. The width of the house is eight 
feet. So, 8 feet. You guessed it. You multiply 8. By 0 0.25 and that'll give you two inches so I'm gonna come up two inches I'm gonna put a mark on either side of the rectangle I'll draw the line over and then erase any extra lines Okay, that is the width, that, excuse me, that would be the depth of this container hole. All right, the last part for the, oops, this will be the top view, so right above it, I'm going to write top. The last part would be the side view. Okay, so again, I'm going to come over about an inch. I'm going to draw this line over. Same thing with this. All right, once I have this marked about an inch over, I'm going to draw this line straight down. These lines are super dark. Erase it. Okay, so again, the depth would be 8 feet, which again is equivalent with our scale would be 2 inches. So I'm going to come over 2 inches and put a mark on either side. And then I'm going to come down and draw that straight line. So now we have the side view. We've got the front, the top, and the side. The last step for this particular drawing would be to dimension the drawing. So we're not going to draw the windows or anything else in here, the doors. We're just going to keep it pretty simple and dimension this, this home. Okay, so um, the first dimension, what I'm going to do is I'll dimension the width of this entire house. So I'm just going to take my ruler. Don't go right on the edge of the line. But I'm going to come up. These are going to, we'll call extensions. And then I'm going to use my ruler and draw a big line. I'm going to skip some space in the middle. I'm going to draw a few little arrows, okay? This is going to be representing where this is measuring to, okay? Now, I know this is not, you know, it's five inches long, but we're not going to type in five. We're going to write actually 20 feet, okay? Even though it's scaled down, you still want to re represent the accurate dimensions. All right, same thing over here for the height. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to come over. I'm going to skip a little space so it's not right up on my drawing. I'm going to draw the height. And the height for this particular drawing is eight and a half feet. And the last thing that I will do is the width. Okay, and I'll just draw the width up here. It doesn't necessarily matter which which view you're you're dimensioning. Okay, and then I'll do the same thing. Draw those arrowheads. And this one is eight feet. Alright, so now that you have the multi-view drawing, the front the top, the side view, and you have the height, the height, excuse me, the length and the depth, the width and the depth all dimensioned.